haven't seen that. Who said that? What? So well spoken. He is a poet, I swear. My name is Radina. Thank you so much for joining me today. So first of all, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the response to my last video. It's been really fun getting to interact with y'all and just simp over JK together, you know, because yeah, it's been awesome. Um, so today I wanted to watch BTS from nobodies to legends. So I saw this suggested a little while ago and I thought it would be fun. But the thing is, I've seen some kind of version of this video back when I was like a baby army because I would just seek everything out. But I think this one is pretty recent. So there may be things in here I haven't seen. So yeah, let's watch together. Oh my gosh. 2013. Wow, you guys. They were so young. Like such baby faces. So sad, like who would have thought they would become just global superstars? I bet they didn't even expect it, you know? Like, oh. I remember seeing their, their dorm at the beginning. Mm. Wow, I bet those people that cut them from the broadcast feel stupid. They're probably like, wow, I'm, I ain't right. Just an underdog story is always amazing. Just from such a small company and they did it. That's another thing I love about them is how involved they are in the process, like writing and producing. Oh. But yeah, I really like how involved they are with writing and producing and yeah, it doesn't feel like they're like a manufactured, like what you would think of, of a boy band to be. Yeah. Most people don't know. I haven't seen that. Who said that? What the heck? That is so backward. Okay, that's dumb. Why would they say that? First of all, people who take care of their skin are effeminate. Excuse me. Okay, well. I'd rather take care of my skin, you know, if I were a dude. Go on, wear that makeup. Just, it's all good. Listen, in the emo phase, everybody was rocking the eyeliner, no problem. Oh, I did hear about this. Just people who have nothing better to do. You know. But do you know what? That makes their success like that much more brilliant. That they had so many obstacles, you know?
heard something Korean had exploded in America, I got worried. I don't know. I think they look very nice. <laughs> this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are f***ing off to little K-pop boys? Listen, the guys were snubbed. They broke it off. That is so effed. Oh my god, what's wrong with people? They've had an epic year. They should be in all the major categories. I don't like the fact that they separated them. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, Denny, but that's what, what it's, just, it's crazy because they constantly outsell American counterparts. Yeah. They outperform Exactly. Them. They're still not acknowledged in the way they should be. They're really trying to maintain their identity. And there is a barrier there when it comes to you know, the Korean language. Like, obviously, there's going to be some North American audiences that aren't going to have that on location. And it's still an issue with radio. That's the big thing. Like, By the way, this reminds me how the Grammys just totally and utterly snubbed BTS this year by like making it like this big thing. I feel like honestly they were using us for views. Like they were using ARMY because they know the power of BTS's fan base. And honestly, I thought it was so funny that ARMY's got scammies trending on Twitter because T. Like honestly, yeah, that's exactly what they are and what happened. The whole, just in general, the music industry, the entertainment industry, Hollywood, all of it, it's so corrupt. And I applaud them for just doing their own thing, you know, despite whatever. They, they don't need like recognition from the whatever. What, who, who runs the Grammys? I don't know, but they don't need them, in my opinion. more enthusiastic than anyone. <laughs> Can you describe that enthusiasm? They brought a boy band from Korea to... That, that's another thing about RM. Gosh, this is why I love them so much too. Like, well, not only is RM like so incredibly well-spoken, I feel like interviewers sometimes set them up to like trash on ARMY just because of the fan base you know, is stereotyped as being made up of just like young screaming girls, which isn't true. Like ARMY is very diverse, like different ages, different everything. And yeah, just the way like journalists try and paint us as like crazy screaming fangirls and they're always so quick to shut that down. And yeah, I just love them for that. They just have like such respect for their fan base that I feel like is rare in music. If you look at the way some musicians like I don't know, they're they're just not as like tight as BTS and Army, you know? So my next guest can only be described as an international I love Stephen Colbert by the way. They have made Time magazines their interview on here was really good. They're the first Korean act to reach number one on the Billboard charts and they just became the first group since the Beatles to earn three number one albums in less than a year. Record setting kings. Oh, yeah, this like concept was really cool. The band has broken the record for the best selling album here in Korea. Now, this album released this April has sold 3.4 million copies as of May. BTS had the number one best selling physical album in the United States in the first half of this year. Being the first Korean artist to win two trophies at the Billboard Music Awards in Las Vegas on Wednesday. The awards were top social artist and top duo group. BTS has been named the group of the year on Variety's Hitmakers list. BTS performed at the U.S.'s most watched New Year's concert, New Year's Rockin' Me. Their upcoming U.S. tour is one of the hottest tickets on earth. Can't the wait. Considering most of their songs for this tour in English. They're headlining two sold-out nights at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, oh my gosh, please don't let it be postponed much longer. I just hope the world gets back to normal anyway. Performing for 60,000 screaming fans. Oh, I miss concerts. showed that BTS's last concert in Seoul created nearly as much economic gains as the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in
Wow, that's crazy. It's estimated that roughly 100,000 foreigners came to Korea during that time. That number includes 23,000 foreign fans who came solely to see the concerts and to their companions. I would love to go to South Korea. Like, literally, like, just because of them. Females, 24% were 10 to 19 year olds, 26% were 20 year olds, 19% were 30 year olds, and hold on, this doesn't seem right. 27% were 49 years old. Ooh, ooh, okay. There goes your screaming teenage girls narrative, some journalists. So, yeah, very diverse. A and message. A, a group of like musicians and like really talented people talking about like better yourself, love yourself, and you know become something good in life. It, it's actually good. I love the band for their message. Yeah, like, John and, Cena. People who are yes. Understood the belief that what they're doing is right. I think that's very important. You should love yourself. For a group that is such larger than life, mm -hmm. that it can be so easy to like dehumanize them. Yeah. They really do a good job of keeping themselves like really like. Just natural and humble. I've never seen a, a whole concert. It's astonishing. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. They are amazing performers. And we load up and we have a blast. We didn't know we got out of our seats. We got right down. Oh, yeah. He went to a concert. That's so funny. Gosh, this speech was so amazing. Just we have RM. learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. Cracker Barrel, oh. we know the Ooh, new cheese. black ribbon slices. Cracker no. Barrel, cheese wisely. For healing, yes. They had the message from the beginning. Amazing. Exactly. It's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. So I want to say one thing. Please, 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 Jin perform Epiphany like at the Rose Bowl concert that I went to like hearing it live I was shook like his voice is so clear and crisp and beautiful I was like I was shook I wish I had known about them when they debuted. Ugh. I bet their agency is so proud of them. Like, what an achievement. Like, they put them on the map, you know? And still remain humble and awesome. Oh, this was so good. Yes. 
really well put together compilation just illustrating, yeah, that they really overcame so many obstacles to be who they are and to be in this place. And I bet it feels good. I mean, I know they're not petty, but I bet it feels good. Like for all those people that doubted them, for them to be like, yeah, see, that's what I would be like. But um, yeah, just they've come such a long way. And from what I can see, they've just remained so humble and sweet as always. And that's why we love them so much. Yeah. As long as we have each other. BTS and ARMY. Yes. All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this one. Let me know if you have any other suggestions. And if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, there's more coming up, so stay tuned. All right, bye y'all.